We're here at Laura Carmichael from Downton Abbey. I wanted to ask you, the show and the movie even more so is a lot about female empowerment and females empowering each other. Mm -hmm. Was that important to you when you took the role originally? I mean, I'm just so delighted that that's kind of the way it went. I'm not sure I would have been aware of it when we started, but Julian has such a heart for these women and uh, they sort of developed into being, as you say, these super interesting characters that sort of drove the show forward and yeah, I'm so, so happy to be part of that. Was the cast actually the same way, empowering each other? Totally. I don't know that there is a more supportive cast. And I'm sure other people say that, but it's not true about them, it's true about <laughs> us. Uh, like, no, we were so friendly. Like, And I was so fresh when we started, like, so brand new. It was my first TV job, and it was this gang of actors that made me feel like um, I can do this, and this is a positive place to be and a great place to work. And, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for that. Every job I step onto now is... It's, Kind of these guys showed me how to do it. High standards to keep. High standards. And after all the fuss about that dress, yes. did you get to keep it? No. <laughs> I don't know where it is, somewhere. <laughs> it's going to be put in a glass case or something, but uh, yeah, it's pretty special. <laughs> it was a real labor of love for Anna, the, the designer, and um, yeah, it was an honor to wear it, but goodness knows where it is now. I'll never see it again, I'm sure. <laughs> Which is also another kind of female empowering moment. Yeah, totally. I mean, they, they're the kind of part of the show I feel like he's and Julian really wrote it with his wife in mind you know that that vision of, of a woman who can't uh, inherit the title and that's I think what drove him to write the show